Hey everybody, this is Keith here of Euphoria Pictures. Welcome back to my channel. Wow, what a difference one week makes. Uh, I would think I brought out my Poltergeist video last week and I mentioned in that video that I could not get my hands on anything, any new releases. And uh, yes, I can tell you now that that has drastically changed in the last week. I mentioned in that video that I was very concerned about this Lost Boys edition that I'm going to be showing in this video. Uh, it just wasn't getting dispatched. For some strange reason, there was huge delays on it. And I was actually just waiting for Amazon Italy to contact me and say, look, it was cancelled. But when I put the Poltergeist video out last week, uh, that night, it just instantly got dispatched. It wasn't even down as preparing for a dispatch or anything like that. It just got dispatched straight away. And I have to tell you, I was unbelievably relieved by that because they're going for crazy money on eBay. It's not fair. It really is not fair for people, fans that really would want this edition and to see these scalpers selling them like for crazy money on eBay. It's just, um, it's bloody cruel. It really, really is. But thankfully, I was able to get this one. And my other, other con my only other concern then was, uh, will I get it damage free? And I'm happy to report, yes, uh, no damage on it whatsoever because I don't have that luxury of returning this item and getting a new one because they're just simply not there. I also mentioned in that Poltergeist video last week that I actually had an edition of that movie Crawl uh, pre-ordered from Zavi. Pre-ordered. What an absolute joke. Uh, I, had, I had it pre-ordered. Um, it was three weeks after its release date and I still they still didn't dispatch it to me. And I said in that video that I contacted them with, from emails. I went on to Twitter. They just would not reply to me. So I got sick of it. So I cancelled the order. Uh, it was just pissing me off. It really, really was. But I'm happy to report that that sh that's turned around for me as well. Because I went on to Amazon France. And rest assured, Amazon France were selling the so-called Zavi exclusive of Crawl. And it's the exact same edition that, uh, edition that Zavi were doing. And I have to tell you, I was really, really surprised by this release. It's a beautiful beautiful release and it was 10 euros cheaper than Zavi as well so it's a win-win and uh, I am looking forward to doing a video on this showing you everything that's inside it and uh, what I, my thoughts on the 4k picture was as well so uh, that'll be coming sometime next week. I've also got my Titans Occult release of The Thing coming tomorrow as well as Scream Factory's release uh, 4k release of um, Funhouse Again, all reviews coming for both of them. Uh, today, Amazon.com just shipped my Fright Night 4K release as well as my Scream 2 Steelbook Edition as well. So they're on the way. I think they're going to be here for the 12th of October. So yes, plenty of items coming my way. And uh, I am looking forward to showing you uh, everything that's coming in the door. And hopefully, fingers crossed, we are going to get some great 4K transfers. Right, so let's get on to the this video, and it is the Lost Boys, and uh, like I said, what an absolute relief to get such to get this re re release in my hands because it is, it really is another beautiful Warner Brothers release, and um, I think I have every single one of the releases now, and uh, I did not want to miss out on this one, and I'm almost certain now that Warner Brothers' next uh, release is going to be an absolute timeless classic, uh, Casablanca. I think that's coming out in either November or December. I have it pre-ordered. I have never seen that movie before. And uh, now I honestly cannot wait to see it in glorious 4K. Right, so what I'm going to do, folks, is I have watched this movie. I have uh, checked out the Blu-ray as well. Uh, as you know, I'm going to be showing 4K versus Blu-ray comparisons. And uh, yeah, before we get on to that, I'm going to take us around this session. I'm going to show you everything that's inside it. So uh, let's get right to it. Right, so here we go, the Lost Boys. So as per usual, I'm going to start with the J card first and then we'll work our way onto the set itself. So uh, I didn't say this in the video, but this is a, an Amazon Italy release. So naturally the J card is going to be in Italian. But you're getting a good idea of what it's all about, you know, you, what items you get in this set. And of course, you got to look at the features there as well. And there's a close look at some of the technical aspects as well. So uh, yeah, that is your J card. And I'll move that to a side. And let's bring in this incredible, incredible looking... Uh, set and uh, I instantly instantly fell in love with the artwork on this release uh, check that out uh, honestly Warner Brothers are really knocking it out of the park at the moment with these artworks that they're putting on uh, these releases they're incredibly original amazingly unique as well 
and uh, it's the complete opposite of Poltergeist that I showed last week where the Poltergeist had a kind of a matte finish where this one really does have a high gloss fi uh, finish to it and uh, yeah I just love love the artwork on it I honestly look I can't praise it enough I think it's stunning uh, wow I'm so relieved that I actually got this through the door uh, especially when you see it in, uh, and hold it in your hands um, it's stunning it really is so uh, that is the spine of your box set there and you've got the lost boys in the middle and then take us around to the back and check this out again very very simple but I love it I really really do and anyone that's aware of my channel I'm always saying this red and black it just works it just works it works so well for me and uh, yeah this this set was there uh, this was a bit of a no-brainer when it came to me and uh, yeah really do love the artwork on that one so uh, yeah that's your a close look at your uh, your items that you do get inside it as well so all in all look I think it's a 10 out of 10 when it comes to the artwork on this set I think it's absolutely beautiful and uh, yeah absolutely no complaints on my end right so let's open it up and have a look at some of the items inside so uh, throw that box to his side so you have your book there you got your steel book and you've also got your your envelope so what i'm going to do is i'm going to start with the booklet first and then we'll make our way across so here we go and uh, check this out as well so of course anyone that's seen the lost boys there's a comic book store in it and uh they decided to do the booklet in a kind of comic book style and i thought that was incredibly creative uh, really is amazing and I think it's um, yeah again just another example of the effort that Warner Brothers are making at the moment uh, with these releases so uh, the back artwork and that is very similar to the uh, main box so uh, I'm going to open it up and I think there's a few quotes from the movie and again it's done in kind of a comic book style uh, yeah very very creative it really has to be said and uh, I think there's maybe a, maybe a write-up or two about the uh, maybe the cast or the filming of the movie itself so uh, yeah, I just I thought this is probably one of the best booklets I've seen Warner Brothers do. Uh, like I said, it's very um, it's quite clever. It has to be said. So uh, yeah, that's a quick look at the uh, the booklet itself. So we'll put that to a side, and then we'll bring in the envelope that holds all your postcards and that. And this one is quite simple. You just have uh, just a red background, and you just got that bridge, the iconic scene of them hanging from the bridge. So uh, yeah, there's not much to this this envelope, and I love it. I do. I really do. And uh, there's nothing on the spines of it or nothing like that. So, yeah, that is the artwork on the front of it. And there is nothing on the back other than uh, a Warner Brothers logo. Right, so let's open this one up and uh, let's be close this first. So, uh, I think what we'll start with is the poster. If I can get it into frame, I'm sure I can get it into frame. I just give you a, a good idea of what it's like. So, uh, this is the first poster that you see in it. And uh, it looks like an Asian poster artwork. I've never seen this before. And uh, it's actually great to actually get something uh, unique like that. Uh, this yeah, this set just screams very, you're just unique. And uh, yeah, I think it's great, I really do. And then when you turn it around, of course, you get the artwork that we all know and love. And I'd love that they actually featured that artwork in this set. Uh, it'd be a shame if they didn't. So uh, yeah, that is uh, a close look at the poster. So let me just put that to a side and uh, bring in these postcards. Now, these postcards are incredible. Uh, they're probably the best postcards I've seen uh, from a Warner Brothers release. So uh, they're character cards, so there's nothing, the backs and backs of them are all the same. So uh, yeah, you got David there. Uh, you got Marco. That's actually kind of freaky. Uh, of course, you got Max there. And you got Star. That postcard looks amazing. It really, really does. And uh, there's something about our eyes that look very, I don't know, hypnotic would probably be the word for it. So uh, incredible, absolutely amazing postcards. So you have Michael there as well. Uh, you got Grandpa. <laughs> uh, of course, you got Lucy. And then, of course, you've got uh, Sam and the Frog Brothers. So that is all the postcards that you get in this. And yeah, definitely the best postcards I've seen from a Warner Brothers release. Amazing, they really are. And then that leads us on to the Steelbook itself. Now, the Steelbook is, I have to say, the one thing I will say about the Steelbook, the artwork on it, it's a hell of a lot better than the artwork that they put out for the standard Amore edition of it. I hated that artwork. This one looks a hell of a lot better. But again, you know, they could still do a bit better with these Steelbooks. Uh, this is just a plain matte finish. There's no spot glossing or nothing going on with it. But um, it's, you know what, it's a nice Steelbook. It really is. I, it's a lot better than the Poltergeist one uh, that came out last week. I like the way the shades are done and you have that iconic scene with them. Uh, hanging from the bridge 
So uh, yeah, it's a decent looking steelbook, but again, I've seen better. So uh, that is the spine for the steelbook itself. And then take us around to the back and uh, you've got a simple Chinese food and a few chopsticks and a few grains of rice there as well. And of course you have the credits uh, written down at the bottom. Warner Brothers always do that. Right, so that is the steelbook and uh, right, we'll open this up. So as you can see, the discs are in Italian and uh, that is your 4K disc. And move that to a side and I will take out the Blu-ray so we can have a look at the uh, the back artwork if I can get it out, that is. Right, so that is your Blu-ray disc. And then that should, leads us to the the inside artwork and check that out. Really is amazing. I, honestly, I'm, I'm blown away by the set. It's, uh, it's incredible. So there you have it, folks. So you don't, you got your steelbook there. You know, you got your few postcards. You know, you got a poster there with this as well. You got the envelope, the, the envelope to hold everything. You got your booklet. And then, of course, you got the box that holds it all in. Amazing for Warner Brothers again. Right, folks, so there you have it. That is everything inside this Lost Boys release and another beautiful release from Warner Brothers. And I really, really do hope they continue this run that they're on. They really are the leading studio when it comes to premium releases like this on 4K. And uh, yes, cannot wait to get my hands on Casablanca, which is coming out in the next month or two. Right, so before we get on to the 4K transfer, let's go through some technical aspects first. It's got an aspect ratio of 240 by 1. It supports HDR10, but unfortunately no Dolby Vision. It's got a DTS HD Master Audio 5.1. It's got a running time of 97 minutes, and it's a native 4K disc. I don't know if it's just me, but whatever it is with the Lost Boys and its picture quality, I never paid too much attention to it prior to this 4K release. But I can tell you now, it's got my full attention because this movie looks beautiful on 4K. It really, really does. Maybe one of the reasons to why I didn't take much of the transfer on it on the Blu-ray release is because the movie does have a stylistic look to it that maybe doesn't lend well to picture quality. But whatever it is with this 4K release, it has stepped up everything. Everything that it could upgrade over that Blu-ray, they accomplish it with this disc. It looks stunning. It really, really does. And again, going back to that stylistic look that this movie has, that's the one big testament that I could pay to this 4K transfer. It still maintains that stylistic look, and I know fans are going to be very, very happy to hear that. The print of this movie is immaculate. You will not see any fill and dirt at all. Uh, it looks, yeah, it looks perfect. It really, really does. Uh, the screen structure as well looks a hell of a lot more consistent on the 4K release uh, over that Blu-ray as well. And again, that's another uh, marked improvement in my book. Uh, I hate inconsistency when it comes to grain uh, in a movie. And uh, I had no trouble with the grain structure in this movie. It looks amazing. The HDR colours are fantastic. And again, they massively add to that huge upgrade that you are going to see on this picture. The black levels are beautifully inky and black and you need them to be because this movie can be incredibly dark at times and the shadow detail again looks spot on. You will have no complaints at all with it. There is some incredible amount of fine detail, uh, especially when you do see Sam when he first goes into that uh, comic book store. Just check out his clothing. Check out the detail on his clothing, particularly his t-shirt. There is just an incredible amount of um, detail to be seen on it. And again, with them HDR colours, it really just upgrades, massively upgrades this picture. Uh, and it's so evident now when you compare it to the Blu-ray. The 5.1 DTS audio is quite similar to the Poltergeist release that I showed off last week, where both of these movies actually had true Dolby 5.1 when they came out on Blu-ray. Now they have DTS 5.1. And when you do compare the both of them, there's just an added element of energy to the soundtrack now, just a little bit. Now bear this, bear this in mind that when you do watch this movie, 80% of what you're hearing is going to sound very, very similar to the true Dolby. But there is just an added bit of, I don't know, bit of bass, bit of activity, you know, a bit more energy. And uh, I think you're going to appreciate the subtle changes that you will hear uh, over that true Dolby 5.1. Look, it's not the greatest 5.1 DTS you will ever hear. But I think you are going to be very, very happy from what you do here. 
So that is it folks, that is my quick review of The Lost Boys on 4K Blu-ray and again another winner from Warner Brothers. So as per usual if you did like this video please do give it a thumbs up and if you could do leave a comment down below and please do share your thoughts on this movie and what did you think of the transfer. And yeah I hope to see you all again real soon with my next video. Until then I'll see you soon, bye bye.